up guys i'm stephy mania and i was actually working on a different video which was about intel core i3 i5 and i7 explained but when i was making that there were some terms involved which would have made it impossible for you to understand anything so that is the reason this video is coming first and make sure you are subscribed to this channel so that you can watch that video also when it comes so in this video we'll be covering the basics of the processor like what is a core cache clock speed turbo boost and hyper threading so first of all what is a core we have heard that computers have dual core cpus quad core cpus octa core cpus and i believe there are some computers with 16 core cpus also and same terminology goes with the smartphones also we have quad core processors octa core processors dual core processor hexa core processors so what is this core core is basically the main processing unit which actually carries out all the tasks you want to perform on the machine you can consider your processor as your brain and core are the brain cells you want to think that brain is doing all the task but it's much deeper than that actually brain cells are carrying out all the task for you same is the case with the processor and the core cores form up the processor like brain cells form up the brain and i think you might have figured it out by now that more the number of cores more tasks can be performed simultaneously and better the performance now second term is the clock speed so first of all let's see what we can find on google search it's quite funny in a computer clock speed refers to the number of pulses per second generated by an oscillator that sets the tempo for the processor clock speed is usually measured in megahertz or millions of pulses per second or gigahertz or billions of pulses per second today's personal computers run at a clock speed in hundreds of megahertz and some exceed 1 gigahertz the clock speed is determined by a quartz crystal circuit similar to those used in radio communication equipments seriously i mean no offense is the actual real definition of the clock speed but and i'll put a link in the description if you want to check that out but i'm sure it's not the easiest task in the world to understand the definition so let me help you in that and put this definition in the simplest way possible clock speed is the speed of your processor at which it carries out instruction which you gave in the first place and i think in a nutshell we can say that higher the clock speed more tasks can be performed at a faster rate now let's talk about the third topic which is the cache memory it is that memory which is present inside the processor itself and it's not present in crazy amount like ram like 4 gbs 8 gbs or 16 gbs or insanely 32 gbs which is insane by the way cache memory usually varies from 3 megabytes to 8 8 megabytes now i want your full attention here cache memory is just like ram only faster both of these are used as holding areas for frequently used data otherwise cpu have to read it from the hard drive directly which will make your 24 hour day into a 48 hour one explaining more practically function of ram is to minimize the interaction between the cpu and the hard drive and function of cache is to minimize the interaction with the ram so now why we do that we do it to speed up our task as simple as that now let's talk about the turbo boost and first of all it is as cool as it sounds of course the name is dope turbo boost now to understand this let's take an example let me tell you the specifications of my cpu of my laptop cpu of course it has intel core i7 4500u at the rate 1.8 gigahertz turbo boost up to 2.4 gigahertz i mean it's not the fastest cpu in the world but it does my job so normally my processor's clock speed is 1.8 gigahertz but sometimes when i'm editing images i'm using heavy softwares i'm rendering videos and i'm opening ton of apps in the background in that case 1.8 gigahertz speed is not enough and cpu needs more power temporarily to manage out things this need is compensated by the higher clock speed and you should know that the cpu is running at a higher clock speed only for a short period of time don't expect it to run for couple of hours at turbo speeds and you can actually notice the noise of your fan of your cpu going up when the cpu is entering in the turbo boost mode so just throwing it out there now the last term for today is hyper threading for normal processors each core has single thread for a dual core processor we have two cores and each core has a single thread so we have two threads now for information thread is the one which is actually achieving the task like you can consider it as a road which connects one city to another so that cars from first city can go to the second city but now with intel's hyper threading technology each core instead of having one thread now have two threads but this doesn't increase the processing power it only improves the you can say the timing or the scheduling of the tasks for example consider my mouth is a core and uh, we know that in normal processors each core has a single thread which is my left hand now i'm having soup and i'll use my left hand to get some soup 
and consume it from my mouth. Now my mouth which is the core has to wait for this thread to bring some soup again so that it can consume it when it comes near it and it has to wait for that time. But consider if I use both of my hands which we can say that two threads one core the time for which my mouth has to wait has been reduced and the tasks can be performed very quickly. But remember my mouth has a fixed capacity which cannot be changed. It doesn't matter if I'm using one hand or two hand. The capacity of my mouth is fixed. Same goes with the core. The processing power is fixed only by using two threads or you can say the hypothetical technology you can just adjust the timings of the threads giving up the task to the processor. So I hope this example of mouth, food, one hand, two hand, threads whatever that was helps you understand what this technology is and I hope you learned something new today and I think now you are ready to understand my next video which is Intel Core i3, i5 and i7 explained. I think that you will get all your doubts clear. So if you are new to this channel or if you just stumble upon it make sure you hit that red subscribe button and help me to help you so anyways that's pretty much it thanks for watching guys you take good care of yourself i'll talk to you in the next one very soon namaste